guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you how i do my makeup using just drugstore products that is completely sweat proof and summer proof not summer proof but sweat proof for the summer and i decided to do a full face using just drugstore products because i wanted to show you how i achieve a sweat proof look without using any high-end stuff you can definitely find things at the drugstore and i believe that these work perfectly but it's pretty much just going to be showing you the foundation the concealer the powder how I set everything and just how I do that part of my makeup look I obviously already have my eyes but I'm just gonna go ahead and get started so the first thing that I'm gonna do is apply my Maybelline baby skin this is a great primer to conceal not conceal but to fill in your pores and this is called the instant pore erasers and just so you know, this primer isn't only going to fill in your pores and making you have like a smooth surface for you to apply your foundation and your concealer and all of that, but it's also gonna help your makeup stay for longer hours than it would without it. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is cover up my under eye area and Honestly, I don't have a product that's drugstore, but this has nothing to do with the sweat proof long wear of my foundation or anything. This is just personal, like I always use it to cover up my dark circles. And I'm just gonna show you that part because I am just, let me get my brush though. This is what I do. I'm just gonna show you like really fast because this is not part of the video really. And I'm not gonna do the, um, Usually I cover I use this to cover up like the redness around my nose, but I'm not because I want to show you how the foundation works. Okay, so that is the concealing part on my under eyes. Now we're gonna move on to what's really important, which is the foundation. This is the one that I'm gonna use. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my beauty blender. So here's where I have a lot of redness, and right now I have some pimples there because I waxed my upper lip and I broke out so here's where I usually apply the erase paste and this time I didn't but you're gonna see how it conceals it it just covers it up really easily so there's half of my face you can see that it covered up the redness I also I, oh, I was gonna say always and also I also get redness right here around my cheek area and it covers it up so just know that this foundation is like a full coverage foundation it does claim to be just a medium coverage but honestly I feel like it's a medium to full. Like, I would say full, you know? And I kicked my dog out, but, I mean, he came back, and I can't kick him out twice. It's kind of harsh. So there we go, a full face of the foundation. It's just perfect. It evens out my skin tone, just makes it look like all nice and like if it was perfect and it's not so next I'm gonna apply my concealer and the one that I'm using is this one by Neutrogena so this one is the three in one and it says that it's a concealer and eye cream and also a sun protection cream I guess it's all in there all nice and formulated together so what I'm gonna do is apply this on the under eye area I'm also gonna apply it on the bridge of my nose in between my eyebrows and on my forehead a little bit and my chin just to brighten up those areas I'm also gonna use my beauty blender to blend this out what I love about this concealer is that it is it's thick you know it's a thick concealer it's gonna give you enough coverage and it blends out really easily Now it's very, very important to set everything, not only your concealer area, but also like your foundation and stuff. I'm gonna use the same powder for both. Now you can use this powder, which is obviously, um, it's, I'm not gonna say obviously, cause I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I am using the NYC Smooth Skin Loose Powder and you can use this just to set everything, like a thin layer of it. I'm going to use it for baking though. Now here's the thing, I know that it seems like if you have a ton of layers of products that you're going to just have like a melt face, you know, once you step outside, especially in the summertime. But if you don't set it, if you don't set, if you don't set everything, then it's really going to move around, it's going to slip around, and that's what you don't want. That's what you want to try to prevent. I personally like to bake and I know that it seems like well that's a lot of product on your under eye area and it's gonna look caked up once you go outside but honestly I feel like it just looks so much better and it stays put for a longer time so I am gonna apply this loose powder I'm just gonna apply it 
with my beauty blender I'm just gonna directly put it in there stick it in here and put it underneath my eyes first I definitely feel that if I don't set the nose area it will move around like that is the first thing that moves around on me is my nose I don't know why I mean, I think I know why it's because I get oily, but still, you know, it's so annoying to have your foundation or your, whatever you apply there, your concealer to move around. So I'm going to leave this on here for a while just because I want it to really set into my skin. I want it to do the baking and I'm going to set the rest of my face with the same powder, but using just a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to use whatever is on the top here and you don't. I mean, I don't always set my foundation with this. I sometimes just apply my bronzer, my blush, my highlighter and all that. And I don't even set the foundation part. But if you want it to last, you know, a lot longer throughout the summer weather, you want to make sure that you set it. So I'm just applying that on the areas that I don't have anything yet. And now I'm going to move on to bronzer. You don't have to apply contour and all that stuff for summer, I guess, if you just want like a fresh look or something more simple. So I'm just going to use my bronzer and it's this one by Makeup Revolution. And this one's called Rock on World. It's a pretty dark orangey bronzer. So you are going to get color from it. Like, you know, sometimes you have to keep putting your brush inside a product for it to show up. This one, you don't have to. You just pretty much just do this and you already have color on here. Trust me. So I'm just going to apply this right here where I always do and usually I have like the contour color underneath it but just to bronze up my skin give me some color without applying so many products this is a good good bronzer to use and I'm also gonna apply it around the hairline just a little bit my dog is snoring And I'm going to apply my blush next. This one is the one of the Milani Rose. I have powder everywhere like I usually do. The T Rose, and this one's by Milani. And I'm gonna apply it with my brush that I forgot. Using the same brush that I always use for blush, which is this one by Sephora. This one is the Flawless Powder Brush. And I'm just gonna apply the blush up here. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the powder and I'm just going to use this stipple brush by e.l.f. and just take off the powder from everywhere. You see, I don't bake for that long. I don't leave it that long. But it does, it just, it still helps, you know, even if I just leave it five minutes or I leave it ten minutes, which is almost never, it still works out for me. I love that powder. And now I'm going to apply the highlighter and if you've been watching my tutorials lately, you know that I've been doing this. I just put my beauty blender just like this. I just bounce it on the top of my cheeks. So the highlighter that I'm gonna use is my NYX Illuminator, which is in the color Narcissistic. And using my setting brush by Real Techniques, I'm just gonna apply a little bit. So I'm gonna apply this right here and on the bridge of my nose. And the lipstick that I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you, is Lust for Blush, which is one of my favorites. This is by Maybelline. I always confuse it if it's by Maybelline or CoverGirl. It's by Maybelline and it's just one of my favorites from the drugstore. So this is my makeup routine or my foundation concealer setting routine for summertime. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section what other type of videos you would like to see or any makeup tutorials that you have in mind or colors, you know, for the summer. I know I want to do more colors on my tutorials. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you like what you see here on Beauty News and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.